how to find the percent by mass of water in a hydrated compound, like calcium sulfate dihydrate, the di meaning two waters. Well, this is just like a percent composition question, where you can find the percent of the molecule's mass that is contributed by x by finding the molar mass contribution of that x divided by the molar mass of the entire molecule. And here the whole molecule is the calcium sulfate and two extra water molecules. Now, for us, we're trying to calculate the percent of water. So what we want is the molar mass contribution of water, not just one, but two of them, because there are two of them in the molecule, out of the molar mass of the molecule itself. Now that's gonna take a bit of work the molar mass of water for us is gonna be two times whatever the molar mass of water is. Now I know it's 18.02 because I'm, I've just calculated it so often, but it's two times this for the H2 and an extra O or 16 for the O. 18.02 is two H's and one O, H2O, right? Get it? So that means 36.04 of the grams per mole that this molecule weighs is water. But the whole molecule itself weighs a lot more than that. There's a calcium, which contributes 40.08, and a sulfur, which contributes 32.07, and four oxygens, each of which contributes 16, and all the water that we had before. That's an extra 36.04. Now I'm gonna add all that up on my calculator. 40.08 plus 32.07 plus four times 16 plus 36.04. The molar mass of this whole molecule is 172.19 grams per mole. And of that 172, 36 of it was contributed by water. This calcium wasn't water, this sulfur wasn't water, and these oxygens weren't water. Only this 36.04 was. And so having seen that, maybe it makes sense that the fraction of the molecule that is water is that 36.04 contribution out of the entire molecule combined. Uh -huh. Now, if you're pedantic about units, or rather, if your teacher's pedantic about units, you can put these both down as grams per mole, but they cancel out because they're the same unit when you divide, and you end up with just a fraction. 36.04 divided by that answer gives me 0 0.2093. 2093. So it's 20.93%. Now I'm going to do some significant figure work. Here I had two decimal places on all of these, and thus I need two decimal places on the sum of them. That's one of those obscure significant figure rules. So this number here has five significant figures. One, two, three, four, five. We're keeping the number of decimal places for adding. And here, these each had two decimal places, so when we add all those together, we end up with two decimal places. This had four significant figures. One, two, three, four. And thus, we need four significant figures here. We've got it. I'm just going to convert it to a percent because your teacher's probably looking for that. It is 20.93% water. Cool. Percent by mass of a hydrate is the same as percent composition of each element. You're just going to treat it as the contribution of water out of the whole molecule instead of the contribution of each particular type of atom. Nice. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.